everyone, this is Colleen Lama, Starseed Astrologer and Spiritual Messenger from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com here to do your monthly angel card reading for December 2016. So here we are, the last month of this year of 2016. So we're going to talk a little bit about the numerology energy, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the highlights astrologically, and then we're going to see what your angels and guides have to say for this month. Now that message is going to come from the Syrian Starseed Tarot deck, which is by Patricia Cora, Corey and Alyssa Bartha. And your special message for this month of December is going to come from the Archangel Michael divination deck by Doreen Virtue. Now that special message card is going to depend on these stones of choice. So let's show, show you those first before we get into the energy of 2000 or December 2016. So your first stone of choice for your special message for this month is going to be this clear quartz crystal. Now I want you to go with your intuition and you know rather than me telling you what each stone is about I'm just going to let you look at the stone and intuit and decide for yourself what you're drawn to as far as your crystal of choice. So again, this is a clear quartz crystal point. It's, you can see how clear it is too. You can see right through it. Your second stone of choice is labradorite. And you can see this labradorite. Usually, I don't know if you can tell in the video, it actually, you can see that reflective energy in that labradorite. A lot of times it has the reflective energies of blues and greens in it. So labradorite is your second stone of choice. And your third stone of choice is going to be citrine. This beautiful piece of citrine. Okay. Turn that around. You can see the other side of it. All right, so again, your stones of choice, the clear quartz crystal point, the labradorite, or the citrine. Okay, so first we want to just briefly talk about 2016 because this is going to lead us up to the energies of December. This year of 2016 has a nine universal energy, and we've been talking about this for the whole year. Two plus zero plus one plus six equals that nine vibration, and the number nine is the last of the single digits. It's about the end of a cycle of energy. It's about the closing out of an old energy so that we can get ready for a new energy. You know, we will go into 2017, it's going to equal a 10, which is like a 1, and that's a whole new beginning. So this year has been about releasing, purging, and letting go, about going with the flow, being receptive, allowing the divine timing of things to unfold. It's been an energy where uh, there's been a little bit of confusion and ungroundedness. All of these things are aspects of the number nine. It's a very spiritual number, though. So again, it's a number of completion as we're winding up old circumstances and situations that we maybe no longer need or maybe we need to change the way they operate so that we can move into a fresh new perspective and a new direction fairly soon here. Now this leads us up to December. To find out what the universal energy for December is, we want to take that universal nine vibration of 2016 and add it to the month of December. December is the 12th month. So if we add nine plus 12, it actually equals 21. And we're going to talk about that double digit in just a second. But in numerology, we often reduce things down to a single digit. So we want to take the 21 and take the 2 plus the 1 and get a 3. The number 3 is a number of expansion. It's about growth. It's about groups. It's about learning and teaching and speaking and writing and all forms of communication. It's about our thoughts, our ideas, the mental realm. And... With this expansion, expansion energy or this expansion quality about the number three, we want to make sure our mind is in the most positive place it can be. Now, I know that 
the last few weeks, the whole, whole year pretty much, has been a lot of change and a lot of ups and downs with a lot of intense energy. So we may be challenged or have been challenged in keeping our perspectives positive. But with us going into this three vibration for December, we want to make sure our thoughts, our emotions, the, our ideas and belief systems about ourselves, our lives, our direction is again in the most positive place because that three energy is going to expand out. It's going to expand whatever it is we're thinking about or visualizing or how we're feeling and it's going to expand it out into the universe. So we need to attempt to heal and release any of the negative mindsets or the heavier emotions by you know pulling cords and um, doing journaling work or meditation work or uh, self-healing or self-nurturing or going and finding someone that can assist you with any of these things um, because again it's going to be very important now the number three is about abundance and prosperity but again it's about abundance and prosperity of what you're focusing on so this can be really good expansive energy or it can expand us into more of a challenge if we're, we're not keeping our ego mind in check now let's look at the number 21 okay which is what the month of December the 12th month added to that nine universal year really is about and if we think about the 21st major arcana card I always like to uh, liken this to what what is what does it vibrate to in the journey of the tarot uh, because that journey of the tarot with its major arcana um, is very important as far as the soul's journey and because we've been on in a very important completion journey in this year 2016 we want to look at that now the 21st major arcana is actually the last major arcana we only have 21 major arcana and then we start back with zero and the fool so isn't it interesting that in this nine universal year this end of a cycle and the universal month vibration for December is 21 which is the last of our major arcana which is actually the world card now I'm going to show you um, the card from the Syrian starseed tarot and it's actually termed ascension in this card but you can see with major arcana 21 this beautiful goddess energy and she is holding the world in her hand okay so this is the world card um, and it's time for ascension this is really in a nutshell what it's been all about we've been ascending we are ascending we're raising our vibration we have been raising our vibration and with this year having been about releasing and letting go of the old it's all of the old heavier emotions feelings thought forms belief systems karmic patterns from this and previous lifetimes trauma energies from this and previous lifetimes that we've been purging and releasing and letting go and as we're doing that of course we're raising our own vibration and ascending we're ascending the earth is ascending humanity is ascending Gaia is ascending okay and this card the world card in the tarot is about a completion energy okay so now we're back to that term completion the end of a cycle whenever we see this card in a spread it speaks of the soul's journey in a sense of again completing something in other words it usually speaks of some sort of karma that we've completed and then now we can let it go and we can move into a new cycle a new direction a new beginning and again this is a perfect card a perfect energy to show as far as what this year of De or what this uh, month of December in 2016 is all about so I just wanted to show you that um, it's you know we have a lot of universal energy here and we're ascending and, and connecting with the truth of who we really are as an aspect of universal God source energy okay all right so let's talk about the highlights astrologically now I'm just gonna talk about the highlights so actually there's a lot of highlights for December we begin on December 1st with Chiron the wounded healer 
moving to direct motion. Now we've felt this all through November, Chiron slowing down, bringing up old wounds. And it might have felt challenging and difficult, but it was so that those old wounds could be healed, so that they could, you know, that we could shed the past and release those connections and heal these things. So Chiron, you know, we don't want to just focus on the aspect of it being the wounded healer, but Chiron is the teacher, the guide, the shaman, the key, the key to the door that's going to lead you to the new beginning, that's going to lead you to integration, okay? Chiron is about integrating into a whole. So if we think about all the past lives that we've had on this planet, and maybe in other planetary systems as well, all of the experiences we had where through maybe some challenges or traumas, we've maybe split off little pieces of ourselves, little aspects of ourselves. And Chiron slowing down was all about bringing us back into a state of wholeness. And now it's again moving to direct motion. And that healing is kind of coming to a completion aspect. On the 2nd of December, Mercury, the planet of our mind, our thoughts, our ideas, you know, the mental realm is moving into Capricorn. This is a sign that focuses on our goals, our um, sense of stability and practicality, and focuses on career matters. Capricorn is really an energy that focuses on our life purpose and where we're going. Now, Mercury is going to be in Capricorn for a much longer time than it normally spends in a sign because a little bit later this month it actually is going to go retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. And so we're going to have quite a few weeks of Mercury in this energy. On the 7th of December, we have Venus shifting into a new sign. It's moving into the sign of Aquarius, which is very freedom-oriented, very much about independence, very much about humanitarian endeavors. Now, Venus is the divine feminine energy, and it's often about relationships and or money. And Aquarius, again, is this very high vibration sign of divine knowledge and wisdom. It's, it's sort of like connected to the God mind energy. And as far as relationships, I feel like, again, we're going to feel much more independent and we're going to be freedom oriented, maybe break free um, if we haven't already from some relationships uh, that maybe aren't in our highest and best interest to continue forward with. Um, now, we're going to jump ahead to the 13th of December. We have a full moon, and the full moon is in the sign of Gemini, 22 degrees Gemini. Now, Gemini, of course, is a mental sign, and it's about busyness. There's a lot of things happening with that Gemini energy. It's mutable. It's all over the place. Sometimes it's hard to make a decision with Gemini because they kind of vacillate back and forth. But I feel like this full moon is pretty positive for the most part because it's in a positive aspect to Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of expansion and blessings. It's in the sign of Libra, which is about our relationships with other people. The full moon is also going to be opposing Saturn in Sagittarius. And so this is helping us to manifest or ground some of those thoughts and energies of the mind that we have. And it's in a sextile to Uranus. And the sextile is a, a positive aspect of opportunity. And Uranus is a planet, again, of the God mind, the higher mind, of um, where we need to go as far as innovative future potential. Okay, so this full moon to me is pretty positively aspected. Now, a full moon is always an intense energy, and again, with it being in Gemini, it might be a little bit of vacillating energies, back and forth stuff going on, but I feel like it's pretty positive. On the 19th of December, Mars is shifting into another sign now. So there's a lot of planets that are shifting into new energies. Mars is shifting into Pisces. Now, this isn't the best place for Mars because Mars is a fiery planet. And Pisces is a water sign. So what happens when you put fire and water together? It kind of fizzle th fizzles things out a little bit. And Mars is the planet of action and forward movement and energy, both energy towards things and also our physical energy. 
So again, it kind of waters down that energy just a little bit, but it spiritualizes it too. Pisces is a very spiritual sign. So if you think about the most positive aspect of Mars being in the sign of Pisces, it's the sign of the spiritual warrior, okay? So we can all become spiritual warriors now in this last month of the year. Also on the same day that Mars moves into Pisces, Mercury is going retrograde at 15 degrees of Capricorn. That's the exact middle degree of that sign. And it will be retrograding back. It won't go direct until um, the first week or so in January. I think it's around January 7th or 8th it finally goes direct. But again, Mercury retrograde is going to give us time to redo things and reorganize things and reevaluate things and all of those things that Mercury retrograde is about. Saturn and Uranus are coming together in a positive aspect and I feel like this is important to mention because Saturn is the old third dimensional energies. It's the energies of lessons but again it's it's the old patriarchal system is ruled by Saturn. Uranus is about the new paradigm, a new way of doing things, the new system. And because they're coming together in a positive relationship to one another, I feel like we're bridging the old to the new. Okay, So I feel like this is the beginning because Saturn and Uranus are going to um, go back and forth with each other and uh, connect with each other about three times. Uh, this is just the first time. It'll do this again a couple more times in 2017. So it's helping to bridge this gap of the old and, and into the new, into the new and more positive and better way of doing things. And then we're going to move forward to the new moon on the 29th of December. This new moon is at 8 degrees of Capricorn, okay? So we have Mercury retrograde in Capricorn. The new moon is in Capricorn. Also on the same day, Uranus moves to direct motion. Now this is a big thing because all this month we're going to feel Uranus intensifying its energies as it's slowing down to turn direct on the 29th. Again, Uranus, remember, is that higher vibrational God-mind energy, okay? It's electrical, it's innovative, it's surprising, it uh, brings change, it brings freedom, okay? So there's going to be a lot of things happening here in this month of December with all of these energies. And then, again, those are just the highlights. So stay tuned to the weekly readings to get more of a blow-by-blow, week-by-week of, of the astrological energies and what's happening. But let's go ahead and take a look here, before we run out of time, at the messages from the Syrian Starseed Tarot for the month. So I already meditated on this and I picked our cards, so let's turn over the first one. Now this is interesting. The Six of Chalices, which is the Six of Cups, and I have to say that when I was meditating and shuffling this deck and just looking at the aspects of the month and, and whatnot, this card kept showing itself as I was shuffling. It popped up more than once and I just kind of put it back in and kept shuffling as I was meditating. And now it's the first card that came out. So it, it definitely wanted to be here. Now the Six of Cups is usually about the emotions of the child. It's about being childlike. It's about being, it's about innocence. It's about, you know, if you think about the joy and innocence of a child, that's what the Six of Cups is about. It's about connecting to that emotion and that feeling of joy and innocence. And I feel like this is about connecting to the idea that we're all children of the universe, okay? Um, if you look here, we have a picture of actually a little girl and a boy angel, and they're hugging each other. Okay, they're surrounded by six cups, and they're, you know, here we got universal energy all around. They're in the stars. They're in the universe. That's what this, you know, deck is all about, the Syrian starseed tarot. It's very universal and um, esoteric in its nature. And so I feel like this is reminding us that we're all children of the universe, that we have to connect with that innocent quality of who we really are and, and where we really came from, which is of God, from God's source energy. You know, we're all a part of that God's source energy. We're all interconnected. But we're from the stars. We're from the universe. And we're all 
beautiful gifts. We're all beautiful blessings of the universe. And if we can remember our true origin and, and we can remember where we came from, we can remember this innocence of who we are. Um, this is a good energy for us to really contemplate and focus on during this month of December. Let's take a look at the second card for more information. Okay, this is interesting, the Eight of Flames. I feel like this came up a couple of weeks ago in one of the weekly readings. And the Eight of Flames is the Eight of Fire. And it's usually about a lot of fast, quick movement of energies, okay? It's about a lot of change coming in. This is a, a suit of the spiritual realm. And you can see this is a, almost like a wheel of fire. It reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune almost. And it reminds me of a passionate energy, a quick energy, a lot of inspirational energy. I feel like, again, there's a lot of things happening. They're saying right now we're in that last month of a nine universal year. So we're all trying on a spiritual level here to complete. Now, it might be subconscious. We probably aren't all conscious of this, but we're trying to release, let go, and purge, and heal, and, and get ready for this new energy of 2017. Okay, so we're very inspired to do this. We're feeling very energized to do this. And so there might be a lot of things happening. The Eight of Flames is always about a lot of activity, a lot of things coming in, a lot of things going out, a lot of things being done. It's like we're hurrying up to get ready for this new energy. And this is, to me, a very positive card. Um, I feel like, you know, this wheel, even though it's not necessarily the Wheel of Fortune, the wheel is the wheel of fortune is spinning. You know, it's it's getting ready. It's it's like if you think about this spinning really fast, and it's a, it's almost like a ball of fire or a wheel of fire spinning really fast. It reminds me of throwing off the shadows, throwing off the shadows, and kind of really integrating us into the spiritual whole that we're meant to be. So very positive. Let's look at the last card. Okay, last card is Major Arcana number 20, which is Karma. And this is interesting because this was the universal month energy for November. If you go back and watch the monthly for November, this is the card that vibrates to November, the number 20. Now, it's coming up in the reading for December. So again, I feel like to continue the discussion of what this Wheel of Fire is doing, throwing off the old shadows and the old karmic energies, that to me is what we're doing. Again, we're, we're still winding up this karmic backlash. And you see the lotus flower up here in the sky, um, which usually indicates the opening of the crown chakra and the opening up you know, to a spiritual energy. We have this ocean here with the heart in the middle of it. So we're opening our heart chakra to the unconditional love of who we are. We're opening our heart chakra to the innocence of who we are. Remember, the Six of Cups is about our emotions, our feelings. It's about feeling good and happy and joyous and, you know, at peace. This is one of the best cards as far as the Cups is concerned because it, it's telling us that we feel really good. And here we are with the heart in the middle here as we release the old karmic situations and circumstances and we release the old karmic belief systems and maybe even having to release relationships that we're opening our heart chakra to this higher sense of being with the lotus flower um, and we're coming into again um, balanced calm waters. We're coming into the calm waters of love and the unconditional love of the universe, which brings us back to the world card, you know, which is our universal card energy of the month, that world card, Ascension, which follows Major Arcana 20 of Karma. So very good message for the month of December. This is really good. So let's go ahead and take a look at your special message card. Again, we're using Archangel Michael for your special message card. And for those of you that chose the clear quartz crystal, let's give these a little bit of shuffle. I'm going to ask Archangel Michael and all of the Archangels to come in. Okay. 
All right. Well, I got like three, three that are kind of showing itself. So one, two, three. Now I just have to figure out which one is for each, each uh, crystal here. So clear quartz. Okay, it was definitely the first one, obviously the first one. Okay, the first one, the first message for the clear quartz crystal people. It says, use your imagination and you'll see the answer. We have Archangel Michael here on a, a horse and he wants us to, again, open our mind. It goes back to that, um, that energy of belief systems, you know, that, that energy of expanding into the three energy of positive belief systems and using our creative self-expression and imagination and artistry. And, and this is about visualization. This is saying the message is that to create the reality that you want, you have to see it and visualize it and then believe it, okay? No doubts, no fears, no anxieties here. This is about using the creative mind to create your own reality. Just like Archangel Michael says, use your imagination and you'll see the answer. So basically, if you're desiring a new career path or life path, if you're desiring more abundance and prosperity financially, if you're desiring a new relationship, visualize it. You know, in your meditation time, visualize and see exactly what you want. As detailed as you can get without putting too many parameters on it because you have to leave some room for the universe to do its work. But this is going to send your positive um, belief and thought and ideas out into the universe. And that's what's going to be created for you this month. So very positive message here. All right, so for the Labradorite people, Labradorite, Labradorite, okay, this one here. Okay, Archangel Michael wants you to make a commitment, okay? Make a commitment. So what does that mean? Um, be more focused, be more grounded. Um, put your, again, your ideas out to the universe, your thoughts out to the universe of, of what it is that you want, but you have to be committed. It goes back to this vacillating energy of the full moon in Gemini, okay? We can't vacillate back and forth. I mean, we can. But when we're vacillating back and forth between two or more different ideas or directions that we could potentially take, that kind of confuses the universe because, again, we're the creator of our reality. So what we're focusing on or what we're committed to is what we're going to create. And if we're putting too many things out there, then there's no semblance of being able to manifest any one thing. Now, sometimes things can go together as far as a certain new path is concerned, and that's okay. But if, if you're vacillating, let's say, relationship, if you're vacillating between I really desire a relationship and then the opposite of I don't know if I could be in a relationship again, then, again, you're vacillating between two different things, and that's not making a commitment or being focused enough for the universe to bring you what it is that you are you know, truly thinking about or visualizing. So... That's kind of an example of what this is about. Um, I feel like there's a, a need for more grounding, as far as grounding your energy. Uh, I feel like getting out in nature um, or doing something with your hands, like um, working with the, a plant or the earth or making something, building something. It doesn't have to be you know, too difficult. But I feel like doing something with your hands is going to help to ground your energy as well. Okay. Anything else new? Okay. So those of you that chose the citrine, this card is for you. Okay. You know, all very similar messages. Archangel Michael says, positive thoughts create positive results. Okay. Again. Uh, there's a lot of color in this card. I love the, the colorful wings that Archangel Michael has here. So I feel like um, we're dealing with creative energies. You might be doing some creative projects. Maybe you're doing something artistic. I feel like you need a splash of color in your life. They just said splash of color. So maybe you need to wear more color. Um, you know, do something very colorful and creative to help the energies to get moving and to get flowing. But again, it goes back to your positive thoughts are going to create your positive reality. 
I love how all these cards are very similar in their messages for you as far as, again, the mind energy, being focused, being committed, being creative, being imaginative, using your, your visualization qualities um, as the master of your destiny to create the next step on your path. Okay. So I hope you've liked this monthly angel card reading. Uh, stay tuned for all the weekly. And of course, we're moving into a new year really soon. So be ready for the new monthly reading for the new year, 2017, uh, very shortly. Sending much love and light to all of you and many, many angel blessings. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in for the year, for supporting me, for liking my videos, commenting. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. And let's move into 2017 together with a sense of confidence and self-assuredness. Mwah. Love and light. Mm -hmm.